Hi, this is David from AppWorks, and today I'm going to teach you how to take a logo and add it to the theme in a FileMaker file. You'll add the logo as a style in the theme, and then you can replicate it easily across your entire file uh, without having to copy and paste. And update it at any time so you gain all the benefits of styles and themes, but with your own custom logo as part of the theme. So, first things first, you generally want to get a logo from somewhere. So you can go to your client's website or your own website, as the case may be, and grab an image. Usually there's a logo image of some sort that's a PNG or a JPEG. And you can just save that to your computer. And then go into FileMaker. And imagine that we want to put a logo up here in the upper right-hand corner of every layout. Well, the first thing we want to do is I'm going to go to a, a blank layout so you you can kind of see this more easily. We'll go into layout mode. And here you have the theme. And normally you might go to a desktop, uh, go to your files here, and actually just sort of drag it onto the layout. And in this case, it's actually going to be really huge because this logo is not built to be on this particular size of layout. Um, normally what you'd want to do is actually zoom out and then you'd have to go and kind of reduce the size of this and then hold the shift key so it, the proportions don't get messed up. It's really clunky. Uh, this is the sort of old-fashioned way to do these things. Um, and it doesn't really work very well, as you can see. It's a, it's a big pain. The easier way to do this is to actually take this logo and put it into a theme. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So instead of actually dragging a, a raw image file into FileMaker, we're going to actually take a, a rectangle object and we're going to draw that onto our layout. And you'll notice that there's different uh, styles for those objects that are in this particular theme. We're going to stick with the default because it doesn't matter. We're actually going to save a new style and it's going to be called Logo. So when you go over to the inspector in here, if you go to the Appearance palette, for this particular object, you can choose the Fill style. It can either have no fill, and then it's just going to be essentially invisible. You can choose any solid color that you want. Uh, you can choose a gradient, or you can choose Image. And in, in this case, we're going to choose an image. So what you'll do is you'll choose the logo or the image file that you want to use as a logo, preferably a PNG that has uh, background transparency, like an alpha layer, but you don't actually need to. Um, in this case, we'll insert that. Now, you'll now see that this shape is filled with our logo, but it's kind of getting cut off, so it's at, still at actual size inside the object. What we want to do then is adjust some of these things. There are several different uh, options here. If you choose original size, it's going to center it in the middle of the object at the full size of the image. Scale to fit is what we actually want to use. So this will scale your object, your logo inside the object, um, and will never be out of the proper proportions. If you choose scale to fill, it'll fill it up as best it can in one dimension, but cut off the other dimension if it can't fill it. Slice and tile are really just for some special applications. Um, so we're interested in scale to fit. Now, uh, once we've done that, we're actually going to take this, and you can see that the style is still the default style. And it's got a little asterisk, and this triangle is red, which means we've got unsaved changes for this particular style. We don't want to save changes to the current style. Otherwise, we will turn the default uh, shape into a logo. And then anytime somebody tries to draw a shape on the layout, it's going to draw a logo instead. So what we actually want to do is save this as a new style. And in this case, we're going to call it AppWorks logo. And now we've saved this style into the Universal Touch theme. You can see that this red triangle is here, and that means that we've got unsaved changes in this theme. Essentially, we've added a new style to the theme. But this style, this AppWorks logo style, won't be available to any of the other layouts until we save this save the changes we made to this theme. So we're going to save the changes to the theme. 
it's going to give us a warning because it can overwrite stuff. But in this case, we're just making a new style, so it's not going to overwrite anything. It's just going to add that new style to the theme across all of the layouts that use that theme. So we'll hit Save. And now, we go into our first layout. We go to our task list. And up in this upper right-hand corner, we want to have... Um, we want to actually have that logo. Oops, sorry, zoomed the wrong direction. There we go. And we'll choose that shape, draw it in the cor corner, and now it's going to use the default style. But now we can go to the style palette and choose AppWorks logo. And boom, there's our logo. And if we want to make it a little bit bigger, we can just drag it. It won't get out of proportion. And it's as easy as that. If I want to copy this, the other thing I want to do is probably anchor it to the right hand side so that when we go back into browse mode and we open the window it sticks to the right so that's the anchoring works nicely if I go back into layout mode and I take this same object I can copy it whoops I can go to the next layout and paste it now if I want to make sure that they're aligned on both layouts which I like to do you'll see that if you select this, you can look at the position in this palette with the ruler, 806 from the left and 0 from the top. So I'll go to my other layout and I'll choose 806 and 0 from the top. And now when we flip back and forth between those two layouts, they'll be, they will appear to be in the exact same position. And that is basically it. If I now wanted to change this logo to something else, all you need to do is go into layout mode, choose your object, go back to this palette, choose a new image, whatever that image might be. We're not going to do anything at the moment. And uh, then once you save the style and save it back to the theme, it will be saved and changed and updated across your whole file. So if you've got 30, 40, 50, different layouts with this logo on it, they're all changed at once, once you save it back to the theme. And therein lies the power of themes and styles in FileMaker. Thanks for watching, and uh, check in to one of our other videos. Thanks.